So this video isn't the easiest video to make. So I thought, but I thought this would be an interesting topic: the evolution of Bootstrap Studio. So this one here on what I'm just using here is Bootstrap Studio 2.7.1. So this was a 2016 edition. So bear in mind, 2015 in October was the first time that Bootstrap Studio came on the market. And it was the first time that a few days after it came out, I bought it, I think, either on the same day it came out or the day afterwards. And it was just by chance that I found it. Um, and I thought the thing that was the pulling power for me is if a, if a license only has one computer, I just don't do it. That That's me out of the game. I have to have at least two. Um, but Bootstrap Studio has three. So on one side of the fence, the 5.8 version, you see, um, which is 2021, which you see is the the now version, if you like. And uh, obviously, I don't know what's going to change in further, um, you know, updates and that. And what I will call the classic look, which is this version 2.7. So, yeah, I mean, it goes back a little bit, you know, and four, five, six years in technology. That's quite a long time, really. Um, so, yes, yeah, so you just had these uh, three templates and a blank page, and now you've got uh, a few more there. Not many, but a few more. So if you go into uh, the actual interface of this thing, when you see it, it's just pop this in here. And when you see it, both versions look very Bootstrap Studio. I mean, there's not a, you know, the you can tell the product is the same, but there's a lot of subtle differences. Um, I mean, now of course, like we've got the reflow, which is the uh, the new thing that's that's come by Bootstrap Studio. Uh, I think it's a sister website for e-commerce, which is, um, you know, for for many people, I've discussed it um on the on the uh, channel um you know and, and there's lots of things there's uh there's the components and things like that are a bit different but it is you know you can tell who's uh, who's made it what um differences and uh view so we've got a view and if you see on um on the uh, earlier version, you just have full screen, zoom in, zoom out, and normal size. Well, on the other one, you got the full, you've got that, and then you've got UI, UI scaling, and that, that which you don't have on the, um, you know, the other one. Um, and then you've got the stage, uh, the online grid, box models, and stuff. And then you've got uh, command palette and detach editors which i thought at the time i did a video on that as well uh which i think is you know it's it's a good thing to have as detach editors and um you know because sometimes bootstrap studio like i said if uh, a little while ago about a month ago that even on their site they say that there's things that bootstrap studio can't do and you know there's you kind of do um, a full stack thing. It's purely, it's a purely front end tool because that's what Bootstrap is after all. More devices here, and if you there, yeah. So you have this here, extra small as I said, and you have them. So there's only four on that one, and um, on here there's actually six so you know more scope for, for everybody in all around it's a better product but what i get keep asking you know like even by email and that is why can't you update the, your you know like the channel to go for the new versions well <laughs> there's lots of reasons why you can't really do that because you don't know what the new versions are going to be i mean you're not a you're not nostradamus you you don't really you know, you don't know what's going to happen in Bootstrap itself without Bootstrap Studio. And another thing is, is that a lot of people just want to use Bootstrap Studio later, um, earlier versions. And the reason is that is because, you know, a lot of people are just web designers. So they, they have other editors, you know, the ides and uh, code editors. 
so they don't really find any reason to update so there's a fair point there so for for you know like people who are um one thing if you if you buy a version of bootstrap studio it's cheaper if you want to buy the updates then um you know like so you've got to pay a bit more i think it's fairly priced you know even even lifetime updates and i think it's fairly priced i don't i don't have any uh, difficulty with that but i think that you've got to understand that there's you know like there's there's people who have different needs in in the web design world and that and um the, i mean i have no affiliation with bootstrap studio developers but one thing that they do is they give us free updates because of like i've done the videos and things like that which helps them because there's one you know some people do like the videos and they like the product so they go out and buy it so it's better for them um but you know i mean like so I, i've done what two or three hundred videos on bootstrap studio and it's really covered all you need in web design to get going but as, as i say i cover things that's new um but as, you know some people don't want that you know i mean like reflows probably is i'm never going to use it myself um but who knows i mean you have different needs at different times so i'm just going through um what else can i do um yeah just i mean i think that's the the main you know there's lots of sort of things uh you know that they've, they've done um what else check updates yeah there's checking for updates as these on uh on every version uh what else file what's on the new version this is well uh, yeah there's there's all sorts of uh toggle browser view preview sorry yeah uh, toggle browser preview which is on the new version i think it's been there a while and edit there's one or two little things there replacing that which is another uh good thing so in the cloud publish manage websites i've had that for a while haven't they and again like i said reflow um is in oh, this is the brand new one uh 5.8 which is this is uh, straight out now i think november 2021 so yeah, so the yeah, you know, like sort of they've kept up on this, and I think I think uh, overall I think the product is is very good for what you pay, and you know what I would like to see is what people have made with um, you know with Bootstrap Studio. I would I would like to see what videos you people have made, you know, with the uh, with the product, and you can like you know identify what what how's it helped you. I mean just put uh, stuff in the comments and you know what you would like to see in bootstrap studio what you would like me to to uh, deal with and things like that um i'm always open for ideas and instead of me like coming up with stuff because i i have different interests in the in the web development world than other people because you know people who are you know there's like three three or four different people who would watch web design videos there's those people who are really starting off but just want a web design a uh, website that's it you know nothing else they are not interested really you just need it for perhaps their business or a, a blogging thing there's those that's enthusiasts who want to really get into it but just for a hobby and then there's those that's semi-professional and then there's those that really uh you know take it seriously and want to make a, a living out of this thing so but it is very difficult way to make a living especially these days 20 years ago when i started i mean you, you could make money but uh it has changed a lot so i hope you enjoy this video of how uh, bootstrap studio has changed i mean what other ideas do you think that's changed in this uh you know in bootstrap studio that's been beneficial for your needs so once again thank you for watching